Yo, and I just wanted to make a real quick follow up, like a part two uh, video to to medicine. Uh, to talking about you know what medicine really is, um, and it goes like this: like I mentioned before about you know heroin and all this stuff. It's like what's being made available to you. I mean, that's what part, this part two is about, real fast. Is what's being made available to you. Because what's being made available to you is all the farm on every single corner, basically anywhere you go in the United States of America, you'll see Rite Aids or CVSs or Walgreens, and they got, and they got the pharma drugs for you. And they also got uh, a store full of chemicals in every way, from soda to house cleaning supplies to personal care supplies, um, just chemicals, 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 chemicals. And what they want you to do is trust them. So they tell you how much they care about you. So to gain your trust, um, these stores have banned um, a couple of them. Um, like I know, uh, what was it? Definitely was it, um, it was either CVS or Rite Aid because one of them carried a nice uh, fine cigar that I liked. Um, and so I would go there from time to time up in uh, Mount Shasta because you don't have any many choices up that way. Uh, to get this, to get this, uh, this, uh, this nice blunt, this nice cigar, um, because I'd be outside, uh, you know, smoking the, the ganja, and, um, it, it would be good to smoke in a cigar socially with folk, um, and I realized that they, you know, starting in, you know, certain month, uh, in like August, I guess it was, they had banned tobacco, um, throughout all their franchises. And that's, uh, you know, making millions and millions of dollars for that corporation. So they only do things for profit incentives. So they have to, you have to understand that they're looking that, you know, they can ex provide exclusive services to you that other stores can't, like um, flu shots, for example, and the measles and mumps and all these other shots. Pneumonia is another shot they got going now. Um, yeah, I know before they had, uh, what, people had some type of, um, Ebola shit going around, um, so, I don't know if they're, if they're, I, you know, I, I, I tap in and out of Babylon from time to time, so I don't really stay up on, uh, this stuff, but every time I go by one of those stores, I know they're trying to sell you, uh, some different type of shot, in addition to the, the pre-existing flu shot, which they push like crazy all winter long, so that's an exclusive business that other uh, service uh, a service that other you know companies can't provide to you. So that 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 those profits far outweigh their their tobacco profits. If you look at um, you know the revenue charts and stuff. Um, so and and the you know incentives from drugs. So so the profitability at these locations really aren't an issue, um, especially what they're making off of cigarettes and stuff. It wasn't a big deal. So it was a really good way for them to spin that to you, uh, and to, and to gain your trust. Um, so um, they tell you, you know, that they're not going to sell tobacco anymore because it's so bad for you. And um, they don't sell things that are bad for you. But what a fucking lie, you know. Uh, what a fucking lie. Um, yeah, a lot of the tobacco products they do sell are absolute junk with all the, you know, uh, chemicals that's got added to it. Absolutely. But everything they sell is poison. So just because you get rid of one poison doesn't mean... Um, doesn't mean, you know, that it, it at all um, makes you a good company if you're still selling uh, all poison anyway. So, and, th and that, that's, really, that's really the crazy thing, too. And, 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 mind, and mind, mind you, too, that, and that the native, most sacred herb and Native American herbology is wild, uncultivated tobacco. So the, how that's been absolutely bastardized in this land and turned into a different thing, it's actually similar with what they're doing to ganja now, too, and how that's being absolutely... They, bas they bastardize these sacred plant medicines, okay? And they adulter them, and they destroy them, and they... Um, oh, my God, do they hybridize them to, to, to get away from that um, creator's DNA strands, and then from there we're getting into even genetic modification at this point. So, well, we're more well into genetic modification at this point. So, it really is pretty incredible, folks. Um, but, um, you know, when, when, when you look at these different things, um, I'm not going to go into the whole tobacco thing right now, but um, there are pros um, to the whole tobacco thing. You know, if, if smoked in the, right, in the right capacity in a water pipe, 
which, I mean, how many tobacco smokers smoke out of a water pipe, um, and say tobacco prayer and go through a certain ritual um, and smoke a certain type of, you know, nice organically or non-pesticide grown uh, tobacco and then, you know, create it in a manner, it's, it's smoke it in a manner without any chemicals added to it or anything like that. Um, that's a whole different experience. Um, personally, I'm not a tobacco smoker. I don't really... It's kind of like, um, I don't really like the, the, the uh, all that nicotine, um, but I would be very interested in what the heirloom, uncultivated, wild tobacco that the Native Americans uh, just raved about. I might be interested in that, um, for sure. But, of course, that's been, even though it grew like a weed all over the country, and now it's impossible to find, which isn't a surprise. Because um, it had so many healing uh, and spirit physically and spiritually healing capacities, um, but you know this this Western man um, doesn't doesn't look at plants as medicine. They have they have an, a different agenda, you could say, and and that's where um, so that's where that fine line between um, even tobacco, um, like something like farmer drugs, it's just all out. That's fucking you know shit's pretty fucking bad. I mean regardless. Um, but with with tobacco, it's still not even completely bad. It's all the chemicals and the fake shit they add to that plant to make it so horrible. And that people, it's very addictive, and it's made to be even more addictive in comp complement chemicals, so it becomes this completely addictive thing where people's tobacco addictions actually own them. Um, and they have no, it's like, it's like a host over, it's like a pa parasitic relationship. Well, it is a parasitic relationship. Um... You know, and this this entity this that you don't know about because you're abusing this sacred herb. This entity begins to take you over, um, and then all these chem. So this is this is really like some type of uh, really like disgusting form of like uh, herbology. Um, it's like um, it almost seems like a cult, um, and it seems seems like, you know, just like, like devil's alchemy almost, and, and, and a lot, and I think about this stuff in a lot of regards, with like these monster energy drinks, and like all the shit that people are putting in their body, it's fucking crazy, it's like the total opposite of medicine, it's, it's like these like twisted combos of just like poison after poison after poison, and how does, how does someone taking, you know, like a, a hemp paper from a hemp fiber or banana peel, and putting a little, you know, tobacco herb in it, turn into what cigarettes are turned into today. And that's really what I'm talking about, like when you think about, you know, things naturally. Um, but things are so far from being natural. So what, what I outlined there is, you know, how they try, how the system tries to create a trust of the consumer. Um, so now, then it's, now, oh, wow, CVS really cares about our health, they're getting rid of tobacco, they really want to get rid of um, all the bad stuff, and it creates a trust for your relationship with that um, corporation who you've heard a lot of bad things about for good reason and it tra and it creates more trust for the um, services and the uh, products that they provide so that's it I mean this these products um, that they provide um, are, are garbage and um, but but it, it's so crucial to understanding that but th this is what you have access to and you don't have access, really, in this society at all, unless you're lucky to, uh, you know, true herb shops or anything like that that actually are medicines. But, and then we talk about even, like, these good plant medicines that are, like, you know, so-called drugs, like a, a psilocybin cubensis mushroom, um, which is, um, you know, known all over the planet in so many cultures for its healing properties. And this, this particular... Um, this is particular, you know, completely out, outlawed, and uh, you know, you know, it's a felony for even possession of this, of this sacred medicine. Okay, um, but you'll never see really see it anywhere. Okay, you're not gonna have access to it. The government's not sneaking that in, you know, um, and all this shit. But what you do see in this country is what do you see? You see coke. Where the coke? I've never seen anyone grow any coke in this fucking country, but it's all over the place. Coke and crack and meth. Um, and heroin, um, and alcohol, and the you can name the next 50 pharma drugs, whatever's popular, you know, Vicodin, Xanax, and fucking codeine, and Oxycontin, and fucking Dilaudid, you know, fucking all this shit. Um, 
all this shit you have you can get anywhere in America. Uh, all the fucking poisons that they want you on, and all their sodas and their fast food. See, sodas and fast food are a huge part of it. Coffee, huge part of it. Um, even even white sugar, and and red meat and these high meat diets, big part of it. You know, um, what you're told is nutrition is just another way to control you. Um, the fluoridated water, or just the overly de demineralized water, the 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 minerals, uh, the food and the water and the beverages that offer no minerals, what your body really thrives off of. I mean. There's so much being done in this system to prevent you from being who and what you truly should be and feeling the way that, you know, a human being actually feels. You're actually living in this chemical world with, chem you put chemical, you even wash yourself with chemicals and chemical showers with all these chemicalized water coming out of the faucets and then you, you're rubbing chemicals all over your body and you're putting chemical deodorants on and you're, then you're washing all your dishes with chemicals and you're cleaning your house with chemicals and you're eating food that are sprayed in chemicals and you know, preserve with chemicals, and it's just you're living this completely chemical life, and then you're trying to heal yourself with chemicals. So that's all I'm fucking saying, folks, is like, it's time to wake the fuck up, you know? Start, start to understand that, you know, it's like, we're from nature, like, we're from the forest, like, we're, we're plant beings, like, we're beings that, you know, should, should have a, you should have a relationship to either the desert or the forest or the beach or... Uh, the mountains or, or, or something in, in the real world, the true real world, um, not the created world. Because when you're going to your job and driving in your car and eating all these processed foods, I mean, how much of that stuff is actually natural? I mean, look at what your dogs do. I mean, your dogs live pretty natural life, natural lives. And if you have a dog or a pet or an animal, there can be good leaders and good examples for you to start following, to start getting your mind in tune with what you should be doing, how you should be contributing your poop and your pee back to your soil and, and your fruit rinds and your compost. And you should be, because you take and you take and you take, but what do we give back? And this is how nature works. And you got to start understanding the cycles of the earth. But this simple video is just about uh, part two of medicine, a follow-up and a finisher, just to discuss what's being made available to you. And by seeing that the true medicines or the true, like I said, healing plants, because they're not sins, <laughs> they're saviors, um, they um, are not available to you. But the, the, either the ones that are legal or illegal, regardless, it doesn't matter, they're being made available to you, and they're made available to you through, um, we all, the notion of hum studies, uh, when you study human, beha human behaviorism, you realize that we, want, we simply want what we cannot have. And by wanting what we cannot have, you know, with the alcohol and the alcohol craze is created by not having it till you're 21, um, you know, that gets everyone into alcoholism and, um, you know, you got to get your doctor's little prescription, woo -hoo, hoo hoo you know, you can feel, feel good and naughty about that, get you hooked on your pharma drugs. Um, so now, you know, ooh, you're 21 plus, you can drink, you can have some, you know, develop a, a relationship with you with your with your so-called doctor and he's going to you know give you a little prescription for your pharma druggies and then um, from there I mean you have how is all this heroin and crack and all, all this shit like access so accessible in, in all these different metropolises of Babylon um, in all these Babylon metropolises it's incredible um, where does all this heroin come from? Oh, oh, that's right. When you look into it, you find out that's why we went into Afghanistan. And that's why we blamed Afghanistan, a nation that had nothing to do with 9-11 for 9-11, because at that time, the Taliban shut down the Afghanistan heroin supply because it doesn't go with Muslim ideals. A true Muslim wouldn't be trafficking heroin, so the Taliban shut down the heroin supply in 2001. And that's when the United States looked for every reason possible, um, staged coups, as you may be well aware, occult rituals, as you may be well aware, um, the falling of the Twin Towers, and the blaming of a nation that had no citizens, that anything had anything to do with it, um, to then go into this foreign nation and, um, you know, go hunt for the bad guys. But when you start doing some research folks you'll realize that the United States are the bad guys and that the U United States is really just the Roman army that the Ro United States isn't the Roman Empire 
but it's absolutely the army for the Empire, and